Hallo da draußen, mein Name ist Malcolm und... Was? My name is Jeff Morse, I'm the producer on Unreal Tournament 2007 at Epic Games. So the, uh, the Unreal Tournament 2000N franchising, um, the concept behind that was an Atari concept. And it's one that, you know, we went back and forth on whether to continue now that we were with Midway. Um, it's something that, you know, I don't think we ever meant to do it annually. Um, 2K3 and 2K4 was somewhat of a, an anomaly. Um, but, you know, the, the problem with having a dated franchise like that, or in the sense that a date is part of the franchise, is that you have a built-in sort of, you know, going out of style thing. And it's like, who in 2006 wants to buy a game that has branded 2004? And so, you know, when we chose 2007, we're like, okay, what is the latest that this game could possibly take to get out? And uh, we came up with 2K7. So there was a time where it was 2K6, I'll tell you that. Um, but, you know, it's, you know, we were thinking about other ideas like, uh, you know, Unreal Tournament, the, you know, it's on, or Unreal Tournament, the, you know, the, the gauntlet, or, you know, things like that. But we decided ultimately that 2K7 was, was something that the fans understood and expected. Um, it is weird when you have those sort of gaps. I remember in uh, issuing patches that we would uh, only, we would skip uh, versions that we never released. And so if the first candidate was like 101 and then 102 and 103 and 104 never shipped and then we shipped 105, people inherently said, well, where's 104 and 103? Do I have the right version? And so you have that same sort of problem when you jump three years like we are between 2K4 and 2K7. But, you know, for the most part, I think we just wanted it to sound current for the majority of its lifetime on store shelves. And that's why we stuck with that. Yeah, the feature changes in uh, 2K7, um, they run the gauntlet. Um, you know, there's, there's lots of big, what I would call back of the box features, like, you know, we have 18 vehicles in 2K7, where in the original box version of 2K4, we had six. And so, you know, those, those really stand out. And we're gonna have, you know, all these new maps and new weapons and things like that. Um, for me, the, the big changes, whereas primarily as a gamer, are the smaller ones that are sometimes harder to sell. Um, we're getting rid of load times on servers between map loads. And so once you connect to a server, you play your map, and then as that round is wrapping up, the next map is starting to stream in. Or maybe you go into a lobby and you sort of use you know, this huge scoreboard and you pick what you want to choose next. That changes the gameplay fundamentally for everyone who's ever played a multiplayer game. So I mean, that's something that we just, we just are in love with and has a big impact on people who play. Um, another one is we'll be the first product to ship with a Unreal Engine 3 SDK. And so the mod community was critical in 2 k 4 success, both in the Make Something Unreal contest and, to be honest, recruiting people who learned the tools. And, you know, between us and people who licensed our tech, it was a great opportunity to create people that we could eventually hire. We want to do the same thing in 2 k 7 You know, who knows if we're going to do a contest or not. Um, but we definitely want to support the mod community. And we, you know, we became a very prominent player in mods with uh, games like Red Orchestra going retail, Frag Ops. These all started as 2K4 mods, and um, we want to continue that sort of, that trend. Well, uh, developing for multiple platforms certainly introduces some challenges. Uh, one of the things that people need to remember is that, you know, we shipped on the Dreamcast, the original UT. Um, we shipped uh, 2K3, I believe, on the PlayStation 2. Unreal Championship was an Xbox launch title. And so we have a good amount of console experience. Coupled with the fact that Unreal Engine 3 runs on these platforms like 360 and PlayStation 3, as well as, you know, PC and eventually Mac and Linux and everything else you can think of, um, for, for the game team, it's not all that different. Um, the engine team has to make it all work. The, the challenge is really for multi-platform is the input device. And so a mouse is great at, I'm here and then I move really quickly to here and stop and move really quickly to here and stop and move really quickly to here and stop. A controller doesn't necessarily do that well. Um, but a controller is great at vehicle controls, better than your binary, you know, WASD controls of going left and right. And so, you know, we were looking at each of the platforms and saying, well, what is going to make the game look and run the best on that specific platform? And what are we going to do to accomplish that? And, you know, we don't want to change fundamentally the way aiming works 
or you know the weapons or the vehicles um, but we want to make sure that people on all the platforms are having fun and that's something that's really colored all aspects of our development things that you know maybe were fun to use but not fun to have used against you I mean that's not good enough and so you know we fooled around with turrets for instance deployables is something that we're pretty excited about and we want to introduce into 2k4 but getting shot by a turret wasn't nearly as much fun as looking at your node and saying I want to put it here strategically and so you know that 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 was important that even getting killed by that weapon was fun and so on the console everything has to be fun on the PC everything has to be fun and if those two things are different we'll make the tweaks that uh, are required to accomplish that we're very much a when it's done company so uh, there's no release date that I can necessarily say um, the date on the box I guess it's safe to say it won't come out in 2008 after all that other stuff I was saying about the branding but that's probably as close as it can get and even then we may just you know if it takes that long and you know we'll change the title um, so we, there's no real release date for it right now and don't believe anything you read online that's the problem right now is people you know you know spill their sheep guts out and say it's in you know March 06 and Unless you're hearing it from somebody who has Epic in their email address, don't believe it.